Hello, so we're back. It's been a little while, but life. Um, this is actually going to be my third Blue Apron box. My second one came right around the time of the funeral and I didn't end up using a lot of it and it kind of went to waste so I just I didn't see the point in vlogging any of that um, this is actually an all vegetarian box I didn't mean for that to happen uh, I just didn't like the meat options that they had but now that it, it is a thing I might do that every other week every other week I'll go vegetarian um, so yeah let's go ahead and get into it same thing everything's packaged in this nice little um, insulated bag and then all of my recipes are right here behind it which we can actually go through those first so this week we have a whole grain pasta with summer vegetables um, oh god how do i say that yakin eku whatever glazed eggplant <laughs> and cherry tomato and onion quiches so yeah pretty excited i'm just gonna go ahead and take all the ingredients out and then we'll go over them So here's everything that was in the box. Um, I, again, just love how everything is really nicely organized and put into separate little things, making it easy to um, find what you need for each recipe. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the cherry tomato and onion quiches, the most time consuming meal, but I really, really want them. So that's what we're gonna get into right now. So from the pile, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab what I need. Um, my eggs, turn these cute little containers to protect them. My two pie crusts, uh, cherry tomatoes, chives, scallion, same thing, same thing. Two garlic cloves, one ear of corn, one red onion, one summer squash, and then my bag of knickknacks, which will contain vinegar and ricotta. So yeah, that's what I need for this recipe, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest of the stuff away. So before I start cutting all my veggies, which I've um, washed and got ready for chopping, uh, I wanted to show my new knife that I got. I got it from Ollie's, it's copper. And it's supposed to never go dull. Like, I'm never supposed to have to sharpen it. And so far, it's been great. And I got it for $3, so I wanted to brag about that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and chop up these veggies now. So I got all my veggies chopped up and the next step is to, in a medium non-stick pan, heat one teaspoon of olive oil and add the onion and garlic. So it says one whole onion, but this is so much onion and like I love onion as much as the next guy, but I just don't know if I'm going to use all of that. And also chives are not the same thing as scallions. I caught on to that once I saw the chives. <laughs> and um... What else? Something else happened. Oh, I burned plastic onto my eye right there. It's not on, but the oven's on and it was hot and yeah. Very eventful, very eventful here in the kitchen today. So yeah, gonna get my nonstick and put some oil in it and um, get my onions and garlic in there.
Okay, while my onions and garlic are cooking, I'm gonna get started on the filling. It says crack two eggs into your bowl, whisk until smooth, and then add in my ricotta. And again, the eggs come in these cute little containers that protect them. I think that's adorable. smooth to me. Now I'm going to open my knickknacks and in here should be my uh, ricotta cheese and white wine vinegar. Here's what that looks like. And I am supposed to whisk this in. I'm going to go ahead and mix my onions and garlic because I can smell them. And this is supposed to go for about three to five minutes, so I'll probably give it another minute before I put my tomatoes in there. In the meantime, let me get my ricotta cheese. Which does not want to open. There we go. Into my bowl. And then I'm supposed to whisk this in here. I do not have a whisk, but I have a fork. So hopefully it's like the same concept. Oh, I'm also supposed to put in two tablespoons of water. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and put my tomatoes in here now because I can smell the garlic and I don't want it to burn. And the, the tomatoes have salt and pepper on them. And I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. While it cooks. Okay. And then on to whisk my eggs and ricotta cheese and water together. Same concept. Just no actual whisk, but whisking motions. And that's what my eggs, ricotta cheese, and two teaspoons of water are looking like. And here's my onions, garlic, and cherry tomatoes. I'm supposed to just cook until the tomatoes get soft. So maybe about another minute and then I combine this into the eggs. And then my summer squash and corn are actually going to be a side dish. Um, but I will get started on once I pop these in the oven. So while that cooks, before I forget, um, I'm still in my green smoothies, although this one is brown due to the strawberries and blackberries I put in it. Um, I've made a few videos trying to explain the recipe, but it's really not that complicated and it's really not that fun of a video. So two cups of spinach or kale or both um, and agave to taste really depending on how sweet you want it and then whatever fruits you want uh, I've done blackberries and strawberries and this one prior I did um, mangoes pineapple and sweet potato and I really like that combo as well um, and I've been trying to have them before work in lieu of like a coffee or energy drink or something like that and I think it's been I think it's been good I've been doing it for maybe two or three weeks now um, and I see definitely um, a change in my energy when I first get to work. Um, so yeah, I think it's working out pretty well. Those onions and cherry tomatoes are almost done. And I don't know about adding them right away to that. I'm worried about cooking the eggs, so I might let them cool down a little bit first. 
Okay, the onions and cherry tomatoes garlic are done. Um, they're not cold, but it just says slowly add it. So I'm gonna take like a spoonful at a time and slowly add it. Let's take this off the heat as well. Just slowly stir it in. I don't know if the water like dilutes the whole eggs cooking process, but I don't really want to test that theory right now. So we're just gonna go a spoonful at a time. This is what my pie crust look like. They're individually wrapped. Very cute. And then I just put the filling into these evenly, is all it says. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to sear this squash. It says put it on high and then put a single layer of squash. Again, the squash that they gave me was massive. So, I might not be using all of it. Especially if I'm supposed to be using a single layer. You can see my stove is so uneven. I cannot fix it no matter what I do. That's amazing. There's my squash and corn cooked. The next step is to add some vinegar, which I'm a little weary about. I just tasted it and it was like great, but there's not so much in here. Oops, maybe I should get into the frame. There's not a lot in here. So it says turn off the heat and stir in the vinegar. Yeah, okay. Not a lot. So I wonder what it will do to the taste. I'm hoping something great. This is already pretty tasty. And the pieces are doing great. Cooking away. So our next stop will be when they're done. All right, everything's done. Here's the squash and corn little salad, or what did they say? It just says with sauteed squash and corn. Okay. And it's garnished with the chives. And then here are the two quiches. They look delicious. So it's definitely time for a taste test. Okay, let's try the sauteed squash and corn first. And it also has vinegar and garnished with chives. Mm. That's good. I tasted it before I put the vinegar in it. And I wasn't sure how the vinegar was going to um, do. But... It just it adds just a little bit of a tang to it, and it's not too bad. Um, what I really want to taste is this quiche. But which one? All the decisions. I'm gonna go with this one right here. This one. And I cooked it a little longer than I was supposed to. I'm definitely gonna need my hands for this. I cooked it a little longer than I was supposed to, but um, I think it'll still be okay. Hot. Hot, but delicious. That's really good. I want more cheese in it, but it's good. Very good. So, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my squash and sauteed veggies and i'll be back later on this week hopefully with another video thanks for watching and subscribe if you like bye